Today we're going to pregnancy check some cows. We want to find out which ones are pregnant and which ones aren't. Because we don't want to keep the ones that aren't pregnant around all winter and feed them hay. Because hay is expensive. First thing I got to do is get my horses in. Come on guys. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I'm feeling frisky today. Hopefully they'll be cooperative and turn right into the corral like they're supposed to. Kit Kat. Are you gonna be a nice? Are you gonna be a nice pony today, or are you gonna buck me off? I think you'll be nice if you know it's good for you. This is Kit Kat. She's a three-year-old thoroughbred filly, and I just got her this summer, and I'm really liking her so far. She's doing awesome. Who's next? How about you, paint mare? Not even gonna try to get away? What's, what's wrong with you today? Are you feeling all right? And this, my friends, is Toy Story. She's from Texas. She does not like cold weather, but who can blame her? But you're very dirty. What have you been doing? You should take better care of yourself. It's not rocket. You know how it is. It's dusty in here. It gets my allergies going. Don't judge me. You guys, you know you do it. You know you do snot rockets. You're such a nice old mare. Even, even though you're from Texas, we won't even hold that against you. Just kidding, all you Texans out there, I love you. Now I'm just headed out to the ranch where all these cows are, and they're gonna have to go across these railroad tracks right here, which sometimes is kind of dirt track. Anyway, we'll get across the railroad tracks, go down the road just a little ways, and right into the corral there. And uh, we've got a nice setup, hydraulic chute. That's where our vet will meet us. And uh, yeah, we'll get these cows preg checked. This is a young horse, so I need to warm her up a little bit before I get on her.
down in Johnson County from the Johnson County sale every year. Bread. I'd like to get an idea on when she bred first or second cycle. Okay. Let's see how much digging we can do. She and Liam Calf, because her calf walked into a snowbank right I'm after he got out. It can be early. I am buried to the bottom and I'm just now getting Okay, coffee. we'll keep her. Well, that went really well. We had we only had one open cow. The rest of them are bred on time. When the vet says bred, that means the cow has a calf in her. When he says open, that means she does not have a calf in her. And if he says late, that means she's bred, but she got bred late, later than we would like her to calve next spring. We usually give our cows two cycles, two heat cycles uh, with, in which to get bred. And a heat cycle is 21 days, so two would be about 42 days. And then yeah, a little bit of a grace period there, so about 50 days. So if they aren't, uh, if they aren't bred within that window of time, then they're, uh, we, we classify them as late. And then we usually get rid of them. Because we want things to calve pretty much at the same time. And uh, to have a nice uniform calf crop every year. We just need to get them through the winter. And then in about the uh, middle of March, uh, towards the 1st of April, they'll start, uh, calves will start hitting the ground and we'll be calving. Yeah, now we're just gonna send all these girls back to where we started and be done for the day. Well, there you have it folks I hope you enjoyed that it sure was a beautiful day to work cattle and uh, everything went really well uh, the cattle tested well yeah I didn't get bucked off my horse or anything like that it's my uh, my young horse worked really well in the corral that's her first time pushing cows up into the tub like that so she did great yeah and if you're enjoying these videos please like and subscribe and I'll keep them coming until next time adios